so I don't have any tattoos, which is crazy, right? Um, I'm like the last skin virgin here in Portland. I have been dumped for a woman that had a giant tattoo around her throat that said, big butts. And uh, it looked like the ghost of gainful employment had choked her out. I also have a lot of exes with tattoos, obviously this being Portland. And um, I'm just wondering how their ironic tattoos they got in 2005 are holding up uh, here in 2023. There is this one guy I dated who was a zine librarian. I don't know if you guys remember zines, but uh, that zine librarian, that was a job that existed here in Portland back then. And when he got that job to go out and celebrate, he went and got a giant tattoo across his abdomen in gothic lettering uh, that said zine thug. <laughs> yes, like he was the Tupac of zine librarians. And uh, yeah, he was white, of course, of course he was. And I just want to know how that zine thug tattoo is uh, holding up on the little uh, dad bod he's got. Now, you know, like in, uh, in 2005, he had those deep Vs, um, you know, like the nice like D'Angelo abs. Some people refer to those Vs colloquially as uh, cum gutters. Well, I'm thinking that maybe the concrete of life has filled those gutters in a little bit now, you know. There was this other guy I dated who got a tattoo of his mom's name across his heart, which sounds cute uh, until you see the name Deborah Jean pulsating towards you every time you have sex. <laughs> so I'm originally from Alabama. Hold your applause. Um, it is, it's not the nice circle of hell that a lot of people think it is. I mean, close though. Did you guys know that they hate women so much there that dildos are illegal? Um, don't get me wrong, abortion is illegal too. Um, and you know, yes, it is horrible to not let a woman have an abortion if she needs one, but it is freaking barbaric to not let a woman have an orgasm. And uh, I don't know though, who, who can be bothered um, dealing with all those splinters from a whittled dildo anyway? Um, <laughs> So, like, the South, it's, it's way weirder than Portland. You're, you guys are like, let's keep Portland weird. Um, but weird here is, like, some guy writing a fixie, writing poetry on a typewriter. Whereas the South, like, you guys don't even understand. My best friend's mom growing up, she's one of those people that thinks the earth is flat. <laughs> um, she still thinks that, not, yeah. Uh, and, but she did once tell me, she's like, she's like, Caroline, did you know that the moon makes its own light? And I was like, Sherry, I am not an astrophysicist, but I don't think that is correct. Um, I guess if you don't understand science, though, the world is truly, truly a magical place. <laughs> My last landlord that I ho had there, his name was Hodad, which was the name he chose for himself, uh, <laughs> not his given name. There wasn't like a baby Hodad, and his parents like, looks like a Hodad. Uh, he had a giant mullet down to his ass. It was glorious. And the only rule he had for living at his house was, tell your friends not to pee on my dog's grave, which <laughs> I don't know who lived there before me, but apparently it was enough of an issue where it had to be made a house rule. And, and yeah, we did have a very elaborate dog grave in our backyard with like a giant cross and a fence around it and then seashells <laughs> over it because we lived at the beach. It was nice, but freaking Hodad. Uh, so Hodad and I, we worked together at this place called Bernie's Raw Bar and I was 19 and my uniform consisted of short shorts and then a t-shirt with a sexy oyster on it that said, suck me, shuck me, eat me raw. <laughs> and I used to make enough money working in two days to cover my rent for the entire month. And not because I was that hot when I was 19, I was like, okay. But uh, just because it was 1999 and rent was super cheap and I, I do miss those days. Uh, oh my gosh. Um, but before Hodad worked at Bernie's, he had his own bar called, wait for it, Hodad's. <laughs> that uh, he owned with his dad, Hodad's dad, uh, until they had this huge falling out. And when I lived with Hodad, they had not talked in 10 years. And whenever I asked Hodad about it, he would never really give me a straight answer. He would just be like, well, me and my daddy got in a fight, and that's why I don't drink liquor anymore. <laughs> but uh, I was like, well, that's really sad, Hodad. When is the last time that you saw your dad? And he was like, oh, I I saw that motherfucker this morning. Apparently, their backyards butted up each, against each other, but they had not talked in 10 years. Like, can you imagine being that stubborn? But they'd just be like out there mowing the lawn and like flicking each other <laughs> off. I'm talking, like people in the South are weird. Um, so I've lived here for 20 years, which is crazy. I moved here in 2003. 
And people are like, do you ever get homesick? And I'm like, not really. I was like, but if I did, I could drive across the I-5 bridge to Vancouver, and there's way more rebel flags there than I've ever seen in Alabama, which is, thank you, uh, which is weird, because did you guys know that Washington wasn't even a state during the Civil War? Like, racists in Alabama will try to use the excuse for flying the rebel flag. They're like, heritage, not hate, y'all. But I'm like, there is no Civil War heritage in Washington. It's just, like, all hate. It's, it's crazy. Um, so I'm really liberal. You guys might have guessed that. That's why I moved up here from Alabama. But, uh, you know, I do, say, I do try to keep up with Republican shenanigans. Um, did you guys know that Mike Pence declared that the female orgasm is a myth? I know, hard to believe that when he's fucking mother through a hole in a sheet that she's not having an orgasm, but my response to that was to rename my pussy the Mythbuster. All right, thanks, guys.